for you this morning. The caves at Devilston State Park will have long been one of the main attractions for people visiting here in Northwest Arkansas. But unfortunately soon some of those caves will be closed to the public. Our photographer Brandon Hartung found out why. Today it's a beautiful day and I figured I'd spend it in a dark damp cave. People come from near and far to visit the caves at Devil's Den State Park, but starting April 16th, the caves will be closed to the public indefinitely. We hope the closings are temporary, but for the time span, we don't know. Once that we believe that the situation is under control, we definitely want to open the caves back open to the public because that's what we're here for. In 2006, a scientist discovered white nose syndrome while exploring caves in the northeastern United States. White nose syndrome is a fungus that attaches itself to bats and causes their hibernation routine to be disrupted. What it does is the fungus will get on the bat's muzzle and will keep the bats basically awake during winter time when they need the stored energy and so very often they don't have the stored energy to make it through winter to uh, spring. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, over one million hibernating bats have died since January of 2007, with some caves carrying a 90 to 100 percent mortality rate. The fungus has continued to spread west into Tennessee, and officials are concerned it could make it all the way to Arkansas as soon as this summer. Our director of Arkansas State Parks took that information, decided that was best for the health of uh, bats in our area to close the cave as a proactive uh, step. We don't take the closing of the caves lightly. We want to keep those caves open, but we don't want to keep it open at the expense of our wildlife. Will it affect you guys from coming back at all? Possibly. Yeah, it really might because this is why we come. We're also Lakers. We like to go to the lake and camp and, you know, the, the caves is what draws us to this area. I don't know if I could have gotten him to come here <laughs> if it wasn't for the caves. You know, there's a lot of other things to do at Devil's Den, but the main attraction here is definitely the caves. We are in hopes that the public will understand that this is really a has-to situation. Uh, and again, once said we think the situation is under control, we will open the caves back up. And that's Five News' Brandon Hartung with that report. Good to know it's not going to be a forever thing. Like they said, big draw to the area. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, you really hate to see it affect tourism. I mean, it's nice to go in there. You got the spelunkers that love to go in there and do that thing. But there's also a bottom line element to this story as well. It brings a lot of revenue into the community. And uh, when that's lost, you know, they could feel a bit of a financial pinch as well. You've got that right. I like to go about five feet in and then the panic attack sets on and then I'm right back out again. <laughs> yeah, you're not much for the caves, huh? No, I'm not much for small places. But hey, I got a lot of people and a lot of friends. They certainly love them there. That's funny. You don't like small places and let yeah, there you are in a box. <laughs> I know. You're you right know? there. We're all boxed up. This I'm comfortable with. <laughs>